everyone. Hope you're doing well and I hope wherever you are that the weather is as glorious as it is here in South Australia today. I think it's about 30 degrees or 31. Hottest day we've had in seven months apparently. So just loving it. So I went out and had a cuppa with my gym buddies today, which was lovely. So I've just got a few bits and pieces here to show today. I received a package from the lovely Auntie Vera, Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft, and it is this score pal um, that I got delivered. Um, so I've been using this EK Tools scoreboard. Um, I wasn't gonna, I didn't know what scoreboards were for and I didn't think really needed one until I started using this and then I realised how handy they were. But I'm working a fair bit with your 12 by 12 papers now and <laughs> trying to score them with this is like an impossibility. Plus, I'll, I'll try and do a paper that's longer than this, like an A4 or something, and when I, I'll accidentally go off the edge with my bone folder and actually rips the paper. So I was tired of that, so I decided that I might as well splash out and get myself a 12 by 12 sized score board. That's what you call them. So I'm very excited about this. So thank you, Auntie Vera. So it says new and improved version 4. So I don't know what was bad about the previous versions, but I'm really happy with this. And I think she had two listed and one was inches and one was centimeters so I went for the inch one because I'm quite used to them now um, finally learned how to um, yeah calculate inches <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to using that so I might as well get it out it comes with a bone folder which is cool different shaped one than the one I've got now so it just looks really good Nice and sturdy. So that just pulls out like that. Yeah, so that looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to using that with my um, scrapbooking papers now. So the next thing I want to show is I went to Spotlight because I wanted to try and find some black loot bags. Um, I should see what I've got here, but I'm pretty sure I don't have black ones, but I reckon I might be able to make some, so. But yeah, I thought I'd go see if they had any cheap black loot bags, and they didn't. But of course, you can't help looking at what else is on sale. So I ended up coming home with a couple of things. So it is that time of the year, and they were discounting all the Halloween stuff. So I grabbed this spider web with spiders. So I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff. I'm not into Halloween at all, but it is something that's quite popular craft-wise. So I thought it's about time I collected a few little goodies to have. And something like this is really cheap and there's so much of it. You can use it, you know, you can make a lot of tags and put a bit in a journal and it goes a long way. So I've got myself some spiders and some purple spider web. I grabbed these envelopes were on sale. French field cards. Oh no, I got card stock. They had envelopes the same as well. It's almost like pearlized sparkly card. The long ones. And then they had matching envelopes. I was going to get the envelopes, but then I thought I'd probably get more use out of the card stock. So I really love the colour on that for Halloween. Oh, I don't even like Harry Potter that much, but they had the Harry Potter napkins. They were on sale, so I grabbed myself some. I really like that it's got I suppose you call them how the house. I haven't watched it enough to know anything about it. I'm gonna have to sit down and watch it now, aren't I? So it just says serviettes. But I thought they were cool for um yeah, be able to use the napkins on tags and all sorts. Then I raided the remnants bin like I always do and grabbed this. It's almost like a teal coloured um chill. So that was 80 cents for that lot, which is good. They had, this was $1.60, point two of a metre. And I really love this. 
And I always look for the themed fabrics in the um, remnants bin. And it's dinosaur theme. I just thought that was so cool. And I have, you know, collected a few dinosaur books, which I wouldn't mind making a dinosaur journal sometimes. So this will be perfect for a cover and some embellishments. Then there was this. It's got cute little wabbits on it. So good for Easter and rabbit journals, I think. I don't think it specifically has to be Easter. I don't think there's anything on there that says it has to. It's a nice amount of this beautiful rabbit fabric. So that was really cool. And then uh, the main ingredient required for crafting is some Cadbury chocolate. And why not a Kit Kat Gold as well, so I'm set for the day. And then the final thing I want to show you is I received a very unexpected happy mail from my lovely friend Carol. Thank you so much, Carol. I have cracked it open. I haven't looked yet. Um, yeah, I don't think I was expecting anything from Carol, so I think she's been a bit cheeky, but much appreciated. Ooh, it's looking exciting too. I think I accidentally cut one of the papers when I was opening up the envelope, but hopefully that is not a big problem. So I think it's stuck down the bottom, maybe. It's all right to rip the front of it. I want to salvage the washi tape. There we go. Oh, that is, oh, you angel. Beautiful paper, and that's nicely Halloween themed too, which is, there's two sheets. Thank you so much, Carol. That's probably gonna be used in the next couple of days, I'd say. Love it, nice and goth. So awesome, couldn't have come at a better time. Mm, that's interesting. It's a nice idea for doodles. It's almost like embossed paper, I think, yeah plays with your eyes a bit <laughs> and some more with keys very nice I'm gonna have to keep a piece of that for a black and white journal sometime I reckon some more with the keys it's lovely I don't think I have any of those oh isn't that glorious that'll be for my mother that would make a really nice little baggy I reckon I'll make a little bag out of that for my purple and green journal. That's really cool, that is. Oh, that's interesting. Feels really nice too. Lovely. And then we've got some different language. Don't know if that's Indian or... That's great. I don't have much of that sort of thing, so that's awesome. I have to put that in with my um, 2T dye pages that I've got. And then it looks like she's giving me some gorgeous fabric here. Lacy goodness too, and brown, one of my favourite colours to use, especially in the nature themed journals. Beautiful white, beautiful white lace. I wonder, did this come from a top that you bought when we went up shopping together, Carol? I vaguely remember her buying a top at the second hand shop that was quite lacy because I know I eyed it off, but I already had one, so I <laughs> thought I'd better leave the other one. I think she nabbed it, so I'm wondering if that's where that came from. That is beautiful, though. And this. Love this. Might have come from the same shop. But I love it. It's beautiful brown and it's got flowers that you could cut out. And there's heaps of it. That's going to be really cool to use. Thank you so very much, Carol. I love it all and it really brightened up my morning. So much appreciated. Hopefully, I'll be able to get together with you again soon and do some more op shopping. So, that will be good fun. 
All right, so there are my goodies for today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Stay safe and I shall see you soon with some crafting. Bye.